This program is brought to you by the Stanford Humanities Center. For more information, please visit us at shc.stanford.edu. There have been many, many definitions of, of cinema uh, throughout the years. Uh, and of course, this definition has been even more critical since there are all these new audiovisual uh, processes or uh, other kind of uh, expressions we, which we meet now and with which we do live uh, uh, every day. For me, what makes uh, something part of cinema, uh, and to put it simply, a uh, movie, a film, a work of cinema, among all these visual, audiovisual uh, object is something which is meant to, which is uh, dreamt for the big screen and the theater, even though we're going to watch it most probably elsewhere on our computer, on our TV set, or even for someone on his uh, uh, mobile phone, which I wouldn't recommend. Uh, but uh, w w we watch movies anywhere, but some of these visual objects we watch were thought for the, the big screen, for the dark theater, for the collective vision, for all what was actually uh, the founding uh, apparatus of cinema. And what is at work there in terms of uh, combination of reality and imagination of uh, personal vision of the director and collective work to build the actual uh, device of a, of a movie, all of these remain very uh, acknowledgeable uh, when you encounter it and makes a difference with other eventually very interesting uh, works like, I don't know, TV series or video games or uh, uh, TV programs of ma many kind which, which can uh, uh, be found or art video, which is another kind of uh, um, of, uh, of audiovisual product, which can be very rich and very innovative, but which is completely different from what is at work in, in the cinema process, provided that in this respect there is no real separation between fiction and documentary. And what is very interesting in cinema, among other things, is how much it combines always a certain amount of documentary and a certain amount of fiction, of course, the uh, amount change in any case. Well, the, the, uh, the future of cinema, uh, as I can, uh, the future of cinema as I can foresee it, is uh, very bright, very rich, very uh, diverse, and largely unpredictable because what we see now is uh, that the uh, appearance of so many new tools, uh, technical tools, also the appearance of new people, new countries where uh, films are being made, are being shown, are being seen, are being circulated uh, all over the world from new origins. One should remember that 50 years ago, most of the films which were worldly distributed came only for a very few number of, of countries. It was American films, French films, Italian films, German films, Soviet films, and that's all. Uh, now we have films coming from Asia, we have films coming from Africa, we have films coming a lot from Latin America, uh, and still films coming from these previous countries, the Europeans, and so forth. So a lot of things is, are happening on the technical level, a lot of things are happening on a geopolitical level, a lot of things are also happening in terms of uh, mixing uh, artistic procedures, artistic devices, combining a uh, way to make traditional ways to make cinema with ways which come from uh, plastic arts or which comes from uh, video games or which comes from uh, uh, other um, input, other uh, uh, kind of uh, visual forms that are mixing with cinema and which from my point of view and as far, as far as I can see are not threatening cinema at all but on the opposite are making it more, making it richer 
and uh, more open in, in, in many directions. So, you know, uh, after the first uh, cinema screening of the history, which was uh, December 28, uh, 1895, uh, the Lumiere uh, father, actually, who screened the first film uh, in this said cinema is a no future invention. And ever since, cinema has been dubbed as being threatened to die in the next coming 10 years, which is a very promising situation, actually, because it means that uh, it's so much of its time that the actual state of cinema is to perish, which is true, because cinema is a no future uh, device, it's a present device, but it's a remaining present device, and present, hopefully, is still going to be there in a 20 or 50 years, but if it's not, it won't be because of cinema, it will be maybe because of some nuclear problems or things of the kind. Uh, but if there is a presence, there will be a cinema, and it, is, it will be recreating itself according to what's new is going to happen in the world we live in.